my dear sisters and brothers in Christ in today's gospel Jesus is comparing the kingdom of heaven to a wedding banquet in the beginning the invited guests of the wedding refused the gracious invitation of the king finding their own excuses then the king sends his servants out into the streets to invite anyone they could find when the invitation was open to everyone the banquet hall was filled with people wanting to have a share in the king's wedding feast for his son what happens when you get an unexpected invitation to dine with a special and important person there is no better invitation than the one from god who wants us to join his special banquet of his son this special banquet today is the eucharistic celebration in mark's gospel jesus says those who are well do not need a phys- physician but the sick do i did not come to call the righteous but sinners mark chapter 2 verse 17 he the answer writes an actual and beautiful story entitled the priest the beggar and the pope this tale explains how the life of a fallen man was transformed because of an invitation from a special person A young priest who studied in Rome during his priestly formation time came back there for high studies after his ordination. When visiting a small church, he met a group of beggars seeking alms. And one of them looked very familiar. Do I know you? he asked the beggar. He replied in a sad and low voice. I studied with you here and was ordained, but I encountered various crises in my life and eventually renounced the priesthood. I had my priestly faculties taken from me. I lost everything. and now I'm reduced to begging. The priest was very heartbroken to see this and prayed for this man every day. When the students of his college received a special occasion to visit Pope John Paul II, as they were concluding their studies, He asked the Pope to pray for his friend. He was not allowed to speak to the Pope, but he did despite the intervention of the security personnel. The Pope listened and promised his prayers for his friend. A few days later, Unexpectedly he received a call from the papal office asking him and his friend for a meal with the pope. He went in search of the friend but the beggar vehemently refused. Finally he won over him and agreed to accompany him. While at dinner the pope took the man to the next room and they were gone for 15 minutes. The priest was curious about what 
happened between the Pope and his friend. This is what his friend reported. When I was alone with the Holy Father, he turned to me and said, Father, please hear my confession. When I refused on account of not being a priest and also of my life situation, the Holy Father told me, once a priest, always a priest. Then he heard my confession and restored my priestly faculties to me. After that, he asked me to hear his confession. We prayed together and at the end he asked me to go to the church where I had been begging and meet the parish priest with the words of the Pope that he had restored me to my priestly life with the special responsibility of the beggars who seek alms at the church door. This is a very moving story, but in a similar but profound way, Jesus invites us to encounter his mercy in this Eucharist. He invites us to share his share in his divine life. We may have to set aside our own personal agendas, interests, and excuses. Everyone needs God's mercy to experience the beauty of our lives. Let us recommit ourselves today for having, in order to have a personal relationship with Jesus renewed through this Eucharistic meal. Let us bring everyone to Jesus who needs the mercy and love of God.